question each time I upload, please hit the subscribe button and the bell notification. Now, you see the title. We're just going to get right into it, baby, because I want to know where the child is. Okay, I'm a mother. I'm a grandmother, and I just want to know where is this baby? Floyd Mayweather, and why? Why is he gone? You remember the old, old days where we had Where's Waldo? <laughs> you remember Where's Waldo behind used to show up everywhere. You would see Where's Waldo? Is he here in this big old cereal box on the back? And it had like a billion people sitting there. And so you had to try to find Waldo. Yeah, I remember that. And do you also remember where they used to have him as um, uh, like just sitting someplace and people would try to figure out where he was on a magazine or something like that? Well, my question today is where is Floyd Mayweather and what's really going on? And why are there different or varying stories out there in the media? See, when you start getting media having different stories, one story says this and another story says that, and then you've got a quote unquote um, uh, certified or a trusted source saying this, then you sort of dispel all the other people in your mind because you're saying, well, this is, you know, blah, blah, blah media. And if they say it, then it's got to be true. These other people may not be telling the truth. Well, here we go, connect some dots and you're going to figure it out for yourself. The first thing that I want to take you guys to is this. This is a story that's dealing specifically with the whereabouts. Where is he? Have there been any confirmations that he's not here? Well, he's not here. According to reports, and I'm going to unfold all of this for you as we go. He is being detained in Dubai. Now, that's just the plain bottom line. According to what I see, and I'm going to show you why there's some differing ideas over here from an event that happened about a week ago. And then the poach, let me just show you. Here we go. So in an unexpected development, Floyd Mayweather has been arrested in Dubai because of an unpaid debt. It comes as a surprise that the money team boss, known for his lavish lifestyle and ties with Zimbabwean gold dealer and politician, Scott Sakwapanya, I think that's how you say it. Let me try it again. Sack up Wanya. That's it. Sack up Wanya. He's facing money troubles, and it's been confirmed by Rick Glazer, an IBHOF elector. This comes from the Twitter page, all right, of Mr. Glazer. He confirms that Mayweather's detention in uh, Dubai is a reality, and it's over, as he states, financial issues. Glazer revealed that Mayweather owes a significant sum of money to the authorities in Dubai, but did not provide specific details. The debt is unrelated to boxing, and Floyd Mayweather is attempting to strike a deal that will allow him to leave the country. Here's a quote from Rick Glazer. It says, I just got off the phone with my guy in Dubai and he told me that hashtag Floyd, hashtag Mayweather is definitely being held by the government court system there. And he owes a substantial amount of money in Dubai. They take indebtedness, he says, over there very seriously. He was told that the debt is hashtag unassociated with hashtag boxing. Floyd desperately is trying to work things out to no avail so far. And then there is, uh, it says, so uh, Gervonta Tank is correct that Floyd is being held there. So now why did he say that? Because Tank, who is a heck of a boxer, this little, this little boy is a total story all of his own. Nonetheless, he had come out and he had responded to something allegedly that Mayweather had said in the public eye. And uh, he gave him what for in a post 
And he also stated verbally out of his own mouth that Floyd Mayweather allegedly was being detained in Dubai. Now, there is speculation that surrounds Mayweather's whereabouts as he remains silent on social media. No, he's not silent, but let me show you what he is. This says that Mayweather traveled to Dubai a few weeks ago and shared images of his trip on social media. However, he has since remained silent about the visit, prompting speculation among other among his followers. The revelation from Glaser or Glazer follows earlier remarks by Dravonta Davis, a fellow boxer and associate of Mayweather, who hinted at Mayweather's detention in Dubai due to financial disputes. Now, we're going to take another look at this story right here, which is Dravanta and what he has to say. He's going to go into some debt. Now, this story is dated, yeah, it's dated April 26th. The next one that we're looking at is dated April 26th. And uh, let's just get into this. It comes from Vibe. That's where this is. And you can see the link down below once this is all done and said and whatever. Let me let you guys get a better view. Let me see if you can get a better view. Nah, that's a better view that way. Uh, nah, I need to quit playing with stuff. Anyway, if I do it like that, yeah, you get a better view. So uh, let's get into this. So Javonta Davis rips Floyd Mayweather, and he claims that he is being held hostage in Dubai. He's being held hostage. Huh. So Javonta Davis said on Thursday, which was April 25th, that Mayweather went, Mayweather went on a rant. This is what happened. Mayweather went, went on a rant targeting an unnamed group of boxers. He called them out for not taking the crap seriously, instead focusing on their appearance in the ring. Pretty boy Floyd then used his career as a point of comparison the athlete argued that they're only looking at the finished product of who he is as an inspiration, not the work that he put in to get there. Quote, a lot of times what these fighters are looking at, they're looking at Floyd with the cars. They're looking at Floyd being flashy, Mayweather expressed. He goes on to say, man, listen, I made so many sacrifices. Y'all looking at the end result. And when I was a champion, having hundreds of millions in the bank, I was still on my grind in that gym. Y'all are worried about your outfits, how your boots look, worried about the wrong things. A lot of you fighters are living check to check, he says. Ah, uh, well, as you can read on the screen, there were a couple of responses for which I will say they were a bit upset about. Here's one, but I'm not going to play it. This is him saying it. And as you can see, he's got the, you know, he's got the N word all over the place. He's got a sentence here about some bull feces. It says here, this is bull feces, uh, but in Dubai and he can't leave because he's been taken. He been taken Inga's money and not doing what they paid him to do. All right. That's what they said that Mr. Dravanta said. Now, Davis took his words as subliminals aimed at him and responded. Gervonta went on Instagram to rip his former mentor. He asserted that Mayweather shouldn't be worried about him and should be focused on escaping an alleged hostage situation in Dubai. Lord, help me. <laughs> Don't be worried about us. You need to be, you need to be focused on how to Slip sliding away out of Dubai. That's what you need to be. That's what he said. You need to be concerned about the stuff that gives you life, helps you breathe freely. You need to be focused on escaping an alleged hostage situation in Dubai. He reposted Floyd's rant and began his brief attack. He started with Nia, say all this bull feces, but he's in Dubai and he can't leave because he's been taken Inga's money and not doing what they paid him to do. Nigga, a fucking hater, they say. That's what he says. Davis typed the response. That's what he said. I mean, I tried to do all the best with the Ingas and all that, but after a minute, you just got to read the quote. Let's get on with it. Floyd then shot back on Friday, April 26th. Okay, now I want you to notice these dates because that's roughly about a week before this story was done, right? 
All right. So Floyd shot back on Friday, April 26th, the acclaimed boxer, the acclaimed boxer, boxer, posted several videos alleging that the boxer had a little sugar in his tank. The videos found Gervonta dancing on TikTok and on IG to little Uzi Vert's I Just Want to Rock and Drake's Thank Me Now. Gervonta spent the majority of his career billed as the next Floyd Mayweather, with the latter taking him under his wing. Davis eventually signed to Mayweather Promotions in 2015. Under the banner, Davis battled to a perfect 26-0. Then, Tank then split from the boxing banner in 2022 to manage his own career. So this is the video of him getting down dancing. Folks can't dance in their underwear no more. A lot of mess there. The catalyst for this shift in the relationship occurred in 2022 after a fight with Rolando Romero. Gervonta Davis said that that would be his last. He accused Mayweather of trying to derail his career, and he says, quote, my contract is up. That's why Mayweather Promotions wants me to fight this clown Romero so bad. Davis typed in a now-deleted tweet per boxing scene. I'm not going to click that because we don't got to see it. We can just read it. Davis felt that Mayweather promotion set him up, set him on a lesser fight while putting Floyd on a bill with more prominence. Simultaneously, Tank claimed Floyd and his company were proposedly attempting to steal the excitement away from this fight. While Mayweather denies those claims, the relationship was never the same. So now that would give some validity as to why homeboy wanted to throw this dude under the bus, right? He wanted to put it all out there because, well, this is what's going on. Now, he came out and said this on May 26th, but here's what I want to say. Let's look at what went on with the mainstream media. And I'm going to show you two stories with mainstream media. This one is dated May 2nd. The first story that I'm going to give you is dated May 2nd because remember, there was this story, which you see Gervonta saying, this dude is in jail. He can't get out. He's in jail without the bail. <laughs> and it's not funny, but it's funny. All right. So TMZ Sports reported that Floyd Mayweather gives $30,000 to a group of homeless men. Look at that. Before a Clippers game, this was dated 5-2-24, excuse me, 5-2-2024. Floyd Mayweather was courtside for last night's pivotal Clippers versus the Mavericks game. But before money got to the arena, he was handing out blessing three homeless men with $30,000. So now he just walking around giving three homeless men $30,000. Now these dudes is homeless. Let's just, let's just let that sit there right quick. 30 grand. I'm just sitting here with 30 grand in my pocket, but I'm also stuck in Dubai. Make it make sense. It says, our sources say Mayweather was leaving the downtown L.A. Ritz last night, headed down the block to the Crypto.com, to Crypto.com Arena for Game 5, when he saw several men on the street. And we're told that Mayweather began talking to the guys and decided that he wanted to help. So he busted out his backpack and he blessed each guy with 10 racks. Here's a quote. I don't want to show my face, but Floyd just gave us $30,000. Reynolds, one of the men said, after receiving the gift. Huh, there's the Ritz Carlton in California, IA, Los Angeles. The guys didn't want any photographs released, fearing that they'd be targeted for carrying that much cash. And well, we can't let the, we can't let the IRS find us. Because if they do, they're going to want their portion. It says, quote, we do not want to get robbed. We will, we will go find a motel. We do not want to get robbed. We will go find a motel. Question, if y'all homeless and it's a bunch of y'all just standing around talking, I venture to say the only reason why y'all standing and talking together is because y'all all three homeless, right? But let me ask you, I know what I would do. Tell me down below in the comments what you would do. If it was me, 
And I don't know you, and I don't know you, but the only thing that brings all three of us together is the fact that all three of us is homeless and somebody walks up and gives me 10 racks. You won't see me no more. We ain't go find no motel. We getting on the first thing moving down south or back to my mama and them or somebody where I can go get me a little spot, have me some family around me, okay, and get myself together. That's just me. I'm not going to stand up and say, quote, we do not want to get robbed. We will go find a motel. That sounds like something made up. You know how I know it's made up? Because in my impression, it's made up. It doesn't sound right. It says, FYI, California is the largest homeless population in America. Whenever I see stories immediately go from what I think may not be true to these statistic-based things, this is what I call mixing a little lie with a little truth. And again, I could be wrong. This is just what I think. I have no concrete proof. So it's all allegedly. But when you say that, you also got to remember that another company followed right behind TMZ to solidify the story that the Dubai people or the Dubai government does not have custody of their beloved Floyd Mayweather. They got in the, on the bandwagon as well. And they said, chiming right in, that according to TMZ, according to TMZ Sports, Floyd Mayweather jo donates donates $30,000 to a homeless before an NBA game. Again, the date was six days ago. All right, six days ago. So Floyd Mayweather Jr. attended round 16 of the game of, uh, of the NBA game, the Premier Basketball League of America in America, before taking his seat to watch the fifth game between the LA Clippers and the Dallas Mavericks. All right. So now hold on a second, hold on a minute. Because this story comes from the Getty. I mean, this picture that you see comes from the Getty 2024. He's supposed to be at a game, allegedly. But the last picture that we just saw showed that he was supposed to be at a game, allegedly. But he was dressed totally different. Let me double check. Let me go back over here and see. Yeah. Yeah. It doesn't even give me. It just says that it's from the Getty, but it doesn't even give me the date. So that first story that we see is 5-2. That's when they posted the first story. This story that we're looking at together right now for Microsoft on this page right here, this one is, it looks like five, two as well, six days ago. So yeah, it's around the same time. They're saying the exact same song. NBA season is nearing its conclusion with the competition progressing through round 16. All right, all right, all right. So can we get to the good part? Here it is. TMZ Sports shared an intriguing incident that took place before the game. It seems that none other than Mayweather encountered several homeless individuals on the streets of Los Angeles. This encounter culminated in Mayweather giving $30,000 to the group of homeless people. For the retired boxer whose net worth is estimated at around $450 million dollars, and has earned over $1.1 billion throughout his career, this act of generosity represents a modest part of his vast fortune. These people is wrong for this. They are wrong for this because they know, everybody in the know knows these stories, and everybody in the know knows what's up. This young man has been turned into a veritable billboard. Because just one week later, I want to show you where he showed that he was. This was a week ago. The story was a week ago. What you see here on the screen was a week ago. And this was a week ago. Poor baby. Poor baby. Poor little Tink Tink. <laughs> Poor little old. This baby standing here in the red, looking like he in a cry for help. It's like you want to tell him, blink three times if you need help. Blink three times. Look at him standing here. All right. Now you may say he doesn't look bad. All right. He doesn't look bad. This person says, locked up. They won't let me out. <laughs> Better gritty your way out of Dubai. I'm sorry, I gotta give a heart to that because that was funny. This gritty is a dance. And he also has a dance called uh the gritty airplane. I thought that was funny. Anyway, I want you guys to take a look at some more of this as we go to Floyd Mayweather's page. Hopefully, we'll be able to keep it there. Yeah. 
All right. Make sure you guys can still see it. Yeah. Cool beans. All right. So check this out. Check, check, check out my melody. All right. So this is coming. They said that there's a big announcement. There is a big Floyd Mayweather big announcement on May 15th. Stay tuned for the upcoming exhibition. Hashtag Mayweather Mexico. I'm going to build the case and I'm going to show you where I'm going. That's the one where he looks like, help me, please. Okay, there's his baby. This was two weeks ago. All right. Okay, look at this. I'm going to go back so I can start it again. I'm going to go back so I can start it again. A living legend with an in-match record. Now partners with Me Owa, bringing his championship mindset to revolutionize digital banking. Together, they're not just champions in the ring, but champions for financial empowerment. Financial empowerment. So what I did is I actually went to the literal website to see this, right? And I'm going to show you the, the money page. There's a landing page that is specifically for Floyd Mayweather with this company. Now, this gentleman that he's standing there with looks absolutely clueless when he calls him his business partner. All right. But this is, uh, oh, gee whiz. Now, all of a sudden, there's no, no results found. Let me go back to the home page on this and see if we can get it. There you go. All right. Now, let's listen to the commercial. Floyd Mayweather. A living legend with an in-match record. Now partners with Me Owa, bringing his championship mindset to revolutionize digital banking. Together, they're not just champions in the ring, but champions for financial empowerment. Money Man is coming to me live right now from Dubai with my business partner, Michael. When you touch down in Dubai or the UAE, you have to check us out. Me Owa, banking, the best of the best. Mike, I want to say thank you. Thank you. Keep up the great work. Money made, and you guys know the rest. Be part of this financial revolution. Visit. All right, I'm going to stop that because I don't want anybody to think that I'm trying to promote you to go out there to Neo One and help him out to get out or whatever. But this is what I was telling you when I said earlier that to me, I may have, I may have said it before we got on the air. But to me, it looks like this cat is being turned into a walking billboard. It almost appears that they're putting him in so many different gigs that you just can't help it. And here's what I want to show you next, because that's one thing that they say he's offering while he's in Dubai. Here is another thing that they say that he's offering while he's in Dubai. He's nothing but like a big, gigantic billboard. Look at this. This is a company called Falcon... Falcons Collective. They are a company that, let me just take you there. All right, let me let you hear this. wish is for TMT and Falcon to have a lifetime relationship and take everything to the next level. Okay, so you guys see that he says he he wants to have a long-standing relationship with Falcon. So for those of us who don't know, some of us might, but for those of us who don't know who Falcon uh, Falcon's collective is, let's take a gander, shall we? Okay. Falcons Collective. Now we're looking at the page for Falcons Collective right now. Falcons Collective is an auction and private sales company followed by Floyd Mayweather. Here's also Steve Harvey, but let's get an idea of exactly what it is that they do. I'm going to pin this. I'm going to show this. As Falcons? He sees a phone call. I'm going to Abu Dhabi. Now he's going to Abu Dhabi. <laughs> 
All right, so I'm gonna I'm gonna break in here just to talk to you guys a second because we need to use this specifically for review and criticism and all that. Look, this is a company that auctions off goods, very high expensive goods, very high end goods. This man just allegedly on this commercial got on a plane and flew all the way to Abu Dhabi. All right, let's finish looking because it's very telling as to what it is that's really shaken. So he finds the watch that he wants and then he's back in his office. Okay. So now it says, join I am Steve Harvey as he traverses the globe to Abu Dhabi in pursuit of our logical excellence. Hmm. Is that aura? Oh, our logical excellence. Falcons, the ultimate destination for luxury co collectibles, auctions, and private sales. So why would he come out? And by he, now I'm talking about um, Mr. Mayweather. Wh why would he say he's looking forward to a really long relationship with them? Well, it's because he got to possibly give up some stuff. Why do I think that? Well, let me show you why. Just a few articles or a few posts later, these are going to be for sale. It says, experiencing boxing with Floyd Mayweather's match-worn shoes. Experience boxing with Floyd Mayweather's match-worn shoes. Each pair, a symbol of victory and rarity. These legendary collectibles offer an unparalleled addition to any luxury collection. They're going to start collecting this dude's memorabilia. Falcons Collective, Floyd Mayweather Sports Memorabilia. This is going to be nothing to pass down. So when people are saying they don't believe that he's stuck someplace, yeah, I venture to say that he is stuck someplace. They've got all kind of fine things there, all kind of nice stuff, okay, by lots of different people. But look, even his, even his boxing gloves, introducing a piece of sporting history into the world of luxury collectibles, behold the legendary gloves of none other than Floyd Mayweather, a symbol of unparalleled skill and victory in the realm of boxing. Elevate your portfolio with Falcon's exquisite, exquisite sports memorabilia. Each acquisition isn't just a privilege, but an investment in timeless luxury. Coming soon, hashtag Falcon's Collective, hashtag sports memorabilia, hashtag Floyd Mayweather. The child has been turned into a walking, talking billboard. I'm telling you. And I don't know what more they're going to push out of this kid, but look over here. Let me just show you this because this is what had a lot of his fans concerned. Now, he is not somebody who drinks and smokes, according to you know what I've been able to see. He's not a drinker. He's not a smoker. Uh, you know, I think he gambles or whatnot, but they're trying to say, well, he's not into all of that other stuff. Well, let's take a gander because there are a lot of things that he's now involved in that he wasn't before in tandem with they're having this May 15th announcement come out where he's going to be in uh, Mexico or there's some Mexico event happening. Uh, this is something that I found very curious. Where is it? I think I have to go to the reels and see. Let's check out his reels. Okay, so we already saw the one Neo, the Neo one, and we already saw, we just got to looking at him promoting this company, Falcons, that's obviously going to be pawning off all of his stuff. But there's another thing, and it is a vape company. Oh, I don't have to worry about that. I actually pulled the vape company up by itself. So let me give you that. Let me just take you there. I pulled it up. I forgot that I did that. Yikes. Go, girl. All right. So here's the vape company, Vapes. This is him. The product contains nicotine, TMT, free shipping orders over $200. Awaken your inner winner. If we go in the shop now, these are his products. Strawberry banana. And that's his. That's his face and his signature on the side. And where did I find this? I found this on Instagram. Look at that. So they're using his name and likeness. Connect with us. Be the first to know about new collections and join the community. Look, the company's based here in the United States out of Fort Lauderdale. I could be wrong. I don't think I am because I want you to see something. 
where I found it originally. Did I find it originally here? Let me see. Yeah, I did. I found it originally here on his page. But nonetheless, <clears throat> he follows a lot of different companies, but all these companies seem to be related to him in some way. Look at him here. This was six weeks ago. All right. TMT takeover. I stopped in India with my business partner, Jazz Mother, to inspire, empower, and introduce Limitless X as a leading health and wellness brand. Look at, look at the clothes he's got on. I mean, just look at him. What has he got on? That's just definitely not him. But nonetheless, there's another company that he's involved in. All right. Yeah, they having fun with him. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He's the one. There's his baby. I don't want to show the baby, so let me move over that. Uh, but let me go back to these watches. Floyd Mayweather, time is money. None of these mean anything to me. I'm <laughs> This man said I'm broke. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, it doesn't have any video. It has no audio. That was 11 weeks ago, but moving on. So this is him, <clears throat> February 8th. Come and see me at Girl Collection all weekend. All weekend. You can't talk big feces if you ain't spending big money. See, I'm trying to behave. This is uh, supposed to be Las Vegas. But look at how bummy he looks. He says he's got a bunch of $1 bills. I saw that earlier. Okay. This is 13 weeks ago. All right. But where I want to show you is here. Because they claim that he can not leave the country. What he is doing is leaving the country with sponsors. People that are with him. That's what you're going to see. But look at this. Doesn't this look a little sad? No music, just him walking. It's almost like somebody's trying to show. See, he's okay. This was four weeks ago, two weeks ago. Let's see, I see comments. This was four weeks ago. He says, a nice night strolling in the park, enjoying the colors. He said, I'm enjoying the colors. Mm-hmm. Doesn't it sort of... <laughs> You know, he, he looked like to me, what he looked like to me is somebody that ain't got no money, but they're walking around the casino. <laughs> they spent all their money and they walking around in the casino. He said, look at the pretty lights. Look at the light. Oh, they're so nice. And everybody knows something ain't right because you're just walking around the casino. Look at this. He just walked and got his hands in his pocket. And there is no audio. He's not saying anything on any of these videos. What you're seeing is what's real. There is no audio on this. Mm -hmm. This person here said, uh, let's see, Ahmed Ahmed says, he must be punished and now allowed to come to Arab countries in supporting for supporting edibles. That's so terrible. Oh, I know what he's talking about. I'm so tired of people with that. Go on about your business. Okay, so look, this is him. And it's somebody else just like just showing it. And again, there are no, there are no words being spoken. That's it. There goes another one. There goes another one. This was supposed to be about four weeks ago. All right, and you see what he has on. This is about four weeks ago. But to let you know why I feel like this man is more than likely being held hostage, I'd have to come over here and I have to show you this. That was supposed to be four weeks ago. Come on, God. What is he doing? Somebody wanted him to do that. <laughs> And I, I okay, get me, save me, save me, turn me loose, turn me loose, I say, turn me loose. That's what it looks like. 
And this was five weeks ago. This was five weeks ago. And what we just got through seeing was what, four weeks ago? Same pants, same old tiny shoes. <laughs> he still got on the same little tiny shoes. This man is being held hostage. And they keep showing him with all of these quiet, there are no words, there's no sound, there's nothing, just him. Like, come on, it's time for you to go and let us take some pictures of you. I want to get out. What is he doing? Got the little cell phone again. Oh, baby. Does it even work in here? <laughs> Does the cell phone even work anymore? Does he have coverage? Does he even have coverage, po thing? Oh, Lord of mercy. Look at this. Ooh. Poor thing. Poor thing. Checking different places out in Dubai. But he still not addressed the rumor. He's nowhere in all of this addressed the rumor that he's being held there because he owes money. And for TMZ, as well as MSNBC, to come out and say, oh, look at what we found. We found that he just gave somebody some money. Shame on them. Look at this child. Look at him in these pants. If they're not the same pants, they're the same kind. And if you're ever gonna re and if you're ever gonna be on a camera, you definitely don't want to be rocking the same thing. But they look just like the same pants. Look at this poor child's face. I wish I could just blow the face up so you could just see it. The poor child looks really, really, really worn. He does. Here he is. How long ago was this? I Let's see what he got to say. To bring the fans and the people that really don't travel. I like to bring them into my life. Uh, when I post on my social media pages, it's to inspire and to push and to motivate. Uh, right now, I'm in Montenegro, as you can see. A beautiful view. From one of my balconies, as you can see. Now, let me take you up top to the other balcony. Everything is always exclusive and super, super nice. Can't forget about the Himalaya, always. You gotta realize we like to switch up our looks. We can't always look the same way every time. Sometimes we wear. Which is why oh, I made the comment that I did the about him with the same the little tie, really little uh, beanie boy pants on. But look, do you remember when that girl was stuck over there in Dubai, the truck driver girl, how they let her move around? Okay, she moved around Dubai. They're allowing him to move around in other countries because some business investors are in other countries. That these people that they're dragging him in to do a payback or whatever, these people are able to travel. And if they're going to use his name and likeness, they have to be able to take him with them. So it's not so much to say that he can't travel. He can travel, but he's going to have himself a sponsor when he go wherever he's going. That's just my take. Let's look at the second part of this. And there he goes. He's just chilling. Showing him chilling. Showing him chilling. Is he? Does he have anything to say here? No, I don't need that. Okay, I don't need that. Because they be tripping like somebody want to play that music. I got Ronnie Man music. Why would I want to play y'all's? You should know. It's just a quick blurb. Anyway, this is him in Montenegro. Okay, Montenegro. That's where he is there. All right, this is in Greece. Same Around the same time, six weeks ago. Okay, he's in Santorini. But again, you can do major business in all of these places. He's in Greece here. Look at the face. This is the pants that I was telling you about earlier. And his baby, let me get off the baby. That's eight weeks ago. Now look at him. Just walking, looking lonely. Look at him. This looks like I, I, I'm stuck. I, I like what I'm seeing, but I can't leave these people. I got a handler with me everywhere I go.
Yeah, some ain't right, but hey, you know what? I'm going to say something. I just feel like when these people get this money in and they take their rumps elsewhere, something ain't right. Now, look. Look at this. This is, uh, this is I gave my pilots a couple of days off and 15 of us hopped on a train to Paris. We moved around a little bit. And you know the photographer is from Dubai because as soon as he pulled and toward the female, he panned back. Hey, people know that I ain't supposed to think it's the same Jack. Right, but I'm trying to say. Really, 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 Jack's still the same thing. Even though I do like this, still put this down. It's still the same thing, really. It looks so uncomfortable. I'm sorry. None of this looks authentic to me. It might be, but it just doesn't look authentic to me. <clears throat> Doesn't that, does that look authentic? None of it looks authentic. None of it looks authentic. Same little skitty wee bops. Moving around. Everything is moving around. We just got out a little. Let's see what this says. This was, the last one was moving around. This is again. Who says this? I gave my pilots a couple of days off. And 15 of us hopped on a train to Paris to move around a little bit. Now here, that was eight weeks ago. Now here, still eight weeks ago, moving around, enjoying London nights. Who says that? Me, being a tourist, taking photos by landmarks and sightseeing. Geneva, Switzerland. Yeah, that's where you make a lot of watches. What if somebody is uh, <laughs> allowing you? to help them make watches. This is him. I want to go back to what he just said so that you see what he says. Up early in the morning, drinking my water, working out, eating fruit, Helicopter, Geneva, Switzerland, money made all day. Come on. What are you going to get on it? He's on it. Good. This man looks like he's been taken hostage. None of this looks authentic. None of it looks like when he's playing with me. That looks like that. But everything else, no, it doesn't. This doesn't look organic at all. None of it. So the question is, <laughs> the question is, where is Floyd Mayweather? This was nine weeks ago. When I see fly places on social media, I don't research it. I just hop on my jet and go see it. Okay. Portal, 1850. All right, the Iceman in Iceland. Nine weeks ago, he looks like a little kid despondent after being sent to the principal's office. Yeah, this man is uh, living the life all right, but I don't think there's going to be this many people, especially those people that are allegedly close to him, uh, like the young man, the box. Um, oh, you know who else I want to see who, who had a take on it? And that was 50 Cent. 50 Cent said, hey, you know what? We've had our beef in the past, but uh, he's my friend. Now we're getting back down to where he really looks real. What is this? This was 13 weeks ago, just before I paid that light million and change for that little Super Bowl stuff, I had to pay the IRS, also known as Uncle Sam, $18,047. Oh, wow. $18,074,181. Wow. To the IRS. Boy. 
Wow. So nonetheless, you guys, I I'm done. There's nothing else I got to say. I just looked at it and I said, they are dragging this boy around like he is a walking, talking billboard. Yeah, a walking, talking billboard. Exactly what they're doing to him. So uh, he doesn't have control of his page. I'm, I'm convinced because this video right here could be. This is what I do. This convinced me. I mean, look at that set, that outfit. Look at the hat. He looked like he's very uncomfortable and he really did not want to be up making this video. And here he is dancing. Why are you dancing? And why is he alone? Don't big moguls like this have big bunches of people around him? Why is he by himself? Why does he have not even his woman or a girlfriend or a first cousin or, you know, daddy or mama them or anybody but him? It's just him. In every single picture, it's just him and the cameraman. This child need to get his rump. Somehow he need to go ahead on and take 50 cent up on the offer because 50 cent said, I got a little, I got some money if he needs some money. I got some money if he needs some money. I can send him some, you know, we ain't brothers. We ain't friends like we used to be or whatever. And I'm paraphrasing. He said, but I got some money, baby. Somebody better send him some money, a life raft. They better send him something because this child ain't coming back no time soon. I don't know who he, oh, look, look. This is what this is all the companies that he's involved in, and he's a Muslim, right? Good money whiskey, wine and spirits. He's involved in that now. All right, let's go back and see what else he's involved in. Good money whiskey. What is this? Le Bon Argent, the official account. Luxury champ. Champagne, champ pain by Floyd Mayweather. Okay. Look at this. They turned the child into a damn uh, walking, talking billboard. If you don't pay us, you're going to sponsor every single liquor that we have, every single watch that we have, every single auction house that we have, every single pack of bread that we have. You're going to sponsor it all until you pay this debt off. You're going to sign a contract to us in, in, in perpetuity. <clears throat> We're going to have you and your great grandkids all lined up because this man owes some money. There's no way in the world he's going to be involved in all of this stuff, especially dealing with things that go against what he has spoken against. All right. All the stuff that he's spoken against. It's like a bad nightmare. Renowned for one of the best events to uh, consecutively kick off the year. The world was not enough for the legendary superstar at Floyd Mayweather as he celebrated his birthday. Hmm. At 007 theme birthday party in London's West End, as we took our talents to London ahead of the Champs Exhibition Fight Weekend, we planned within two weeks' notice an exclusive. Invite only birthday celebration for the champ featuring complete venue transformation with a custom staircase themed entrance at three themed entrance and decor. Undoubtedly, this is more than likely where they were putting the, uh, the liquor out. It could have been around for a minute, but all of these companies are munching on this dude. That's a handsome woman. <laughs> Yeah, so this is him running around peddling liquor. Finding that midweek vibes repost from at Meek Mills. Wow, that didn't age well. Yeah, folks, I'm I'm getting tired of it. I'm 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 a little finished now. I don't want to talk about any more other than the fact that I do believe this young man has gotten himself into some mess and he don't know how to get out of it. Poor thing.
He don't know how to get out of it. And there's nothing anybody can do about it. But look, leave your comments down below in the comment box. Tell me what you think. If you find out something else that I don't know about surrounding this, just go ahead and tell me, please. So that way we can go in ahead and put it all out there. I want to thank each and every one of you for hanging out. This is Felicia Lockhart of the Lockhart Group. And I just want to say thank you. Make sure that you do me a big favor. And that is take care of yourself first. Because if we don't take care of you, you can't take care of nobody else. After you take, tighten you up, then you can reach around and tighten somebody else up. Okay? All right. And then I want you to make sure you do me the biggest favor of all. And that is take care of my friend. And my friend is you. Be blessed. Hey everyone, it's me, Felicia, of the Lockhart Perspective and Headlines with a Voice. I want to tell you a little secret. This is what I used to do, because I don't do it anymore. I would go to the store, buy the barbecue sauce, pour it inside of a bowl, put a whole bunch of different spices, a dash of brown sugar, a dash of maple, and a dash of mustard, stir it all around, and everybody would be like, oh my gosh, this is the best, this is the best. But I was exhausted after all of that, and a lot of times I couldn't remember how many dashes of what I put in it. But I don't have to do that anymore because now I just go to Judge Joe Brown's website and I order his three pack of bottled barbecue sauce. It is by far the best. And I do mean the best barbecue sauce I've ever eaten. And when you go to his website and you order his three pack, you'll see exactly what I mean. Head on over to JJBBBQ.com and order Judge Joe Brown's barbecue sauce. You'll be glad you did. And you're going to tell me about it. I know you will. Lock up perspective.